families, the Banjani families, seek to find a balance between running a business and home life. But I feel they need to realise what happens when they just put too much on their plate. So I came up with a visual way of being able to show them what's really at stake. Mummy and Daddy have a very special act to show us, okay? Yeah. It's the juggling the act. So what we're going to start off with is kids. Mum, start juggling the ball. Oh, look, what have we got here? We've got family time. What have we got? Let's put it in. Keep juggling. Cookies, Mum, oh, this one's yours. Woo, where'd it go? Keep juggling. Fast, fast, fast. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, what have we dropped here? Oh, look, what's this, kids? What's dropped it? Family time. Oh, that has been dropped, hasn't it? Being a parent working it's you know hard juggling all of it at one time this juggling act was a disaster they didn't do very well did they no no but we want you focused on your priority and your priority right now is your cooking business and your family all right and that's what we're going to move on next okay but i think we all strive to find balance in one way or another and this family are striving to find balance between the new company that they've started at home and their family life. Here is what you see, the cookie routine. In order to bring more balance into the Bajani household, I'm going to give them a cookie routine that will make sure that they spend time running the business, but equally time with their family. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stand here and I'm gonna represent your three children. They want you to. Spend seven days is just too much. Seven days is just too much. Okay. Your children want you to. So then I guess we'll have to work okay. it where we only do the weekends and then maybe we could split those days and then we'll have more time with the children. When Joe suggested to balance out our lives, make everything equal, cookie business to children, she was 100% right. And my children will get a really nice benefit out of the cookie routine because they now have more time with mommy and daddy. I'd like to say well done to the pair of you because this is probably one of the most challenging schedules that I've done working with a family in the four years that I've been here in America helping families. The cookie routine I'm very committed to is going to make life a lot easier. After posting up a routine that allowed the children to have two extra days with their parents a week, it was now on to the next issue. Some families have businesses where they can close the door on their office. In this case, the Bajanis work from their kitchen and the kids are constantly in there causing havoc. So that's why I invented baking time. We do want to create some space so that there is a divide between when you're doing your cookies and you're not got the interference of the kids and we're setting up a boundary. All right, what we can do is put down a little bit of tape so that it visually reinforces that. Okay, well, we've got some scissors. Baking time is a great idea because we put up this piece of tape and there's also a sign that will tell them, you know, Cameron, Zoe and Blake, please stay out. And when we, we explain, they really caught on quickly. When I'm baking and I'm putting the cookies in their boxes, you guys can't come in here. This is gonna be our line so that you know, oh, mommy and daddy working. Okay, so then when mommy's making cookies in here, where are you going to stay? Very good. <laughs> The kids spend a lot of time arguing about what they want to eat that's in the cupboards. So that's why I came up with a snack box technique. These boxes are for you to decorate. What we are going to do afterwards when they're dry is we're going to choose two snacks and a piece of fruit to put into our snack box so that every day when it's snack time, we take it out of our own box. When Jo first came in, I wasn't sure what she was doing. When she pulled out the boxes and she told us what they were, it was it's a great idea. So help yourselves then, okay? Take a look at the paints. Are these washable paints? <laughs> yes, they are washable paints. No, 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 Karen, Karen. It's not oh, no more, Blake. Blake, I'm sorry. The kids started to paint their snack boxes and as the fingers got all messy, mum's face started to cringe. Wait, Zoe. Okay, okay, careful. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. When they started painting, the lights are paint and he was putting globs of paint. I'm like, all right, enough. 
have a panic attack here, aren't you? You're like, oh my god, when is it going to be finished? I have to admit, I never do this with them because I, I just, I can't stand it. I can't stand the math. I can't stand when it gets in their nail. Mum's hands on when it comes to making cookies, but when it comes to being hands on with the kids, she doesn't like these to get messy. Oh, Cameron, I love your blue box. Ooh. <laughs> what I think we should do is come and choose the snacks that you're going to put in them. The children, they're given a lot of sweet things and cookie and candy. And of course, that's gonna spike children's blood sugar levels. So now they get one piece of fruit and two other snacks a day. Cheers. What, what have you chose? Apple and door and Okay. The snack box will help mum and dad really eliminate the constant battling over snack time. You're gonna put your snacks into your snack boxes and then mommy and daddy are gonna tell you when snack time is so you can lift up your box and then eat one of the snacks that are in there, okay? So I think give yourself a clap, well done. All right, you all did really, really well. Coming up on Super Nan. <laughs> Enforcing discipline becomes a three and a half hour ordeal. And Joe gets a taste of her own medicine when Super Nanny...